The Weimar 6220. Supposed to be 62 cc's. I think it's more along the lines of 58, 59 cc's. Whatever. <laughs> Crank this shit up. Okay, I know what you're thinking right off the bat. That's a different collar. <laughs> uh, well, whenever I started doing this video, my intentions were that um, the Weimar 6200 would be identical to the Couchier 6200. Um, but I'm not so sure about that now. So this right here is, I'll tell you more about it here in just a second. This is actually going to Ukraine. And um, now, guys, don't, don't be hard on me. Those, guys, those people over there are freezing. And uh, they got all their utilities cut off, and I'm just doing what I think is right. Okay? I'm sending a cool chainsaw to them. Maybe it'll have, bring a little bit of fun to their life, and they'll be able to stay warm. That's it. Um, there's a channel that my wife follows of some soldiers in the Ukraine army, and this is going to them. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fun. I got some stickers to make for it uh, and things, but um, my original thought that I would be able to port this up and measure it against the Weimars to see which one is faster. But um, the quality of this Cooch here turns out is nowhere near as good as the Weimars. Uh, there was all kinds of things going on with it. So real quick on the port job, it has a domed piston and it has a windowed piston, piston, which makes no sense because it's an open port just like all the other of these Chinese knockoffs. Uh, these clone, Zenoa clones is what they are. Uh, but uh, I was able to get the squish to 22 thousandths, no problem. And then I did my checks on the actual port timing and stuff, and it was crazy. Uh, I'll insert the clip right here showcasing what I did to it. Okay, the Couchier. So here we go. Um, crazily enough, so I took uh, about 15 thousandths off of this, and I got 22 thousandths on the squish. Okay? Now, that's... After I cut the squish, I checked my numbers, and oh my god, from the factory, the exhaust, with cutting the squish, you understand? So, I lowered it, but even still, it's at just shy of 96 on the exhaust, which is way too high. So, stock, this thing was probably like 92 93 <laughs> on your exhaust roof, which is absurd for this saw. Okay, but it is what it is. That's what I got to work with. Um, and so we're at about 95.6 or 95.8 on the exhaust roof, which is way, way too high. But that's what I got to work with. And to get it where I would want it, which is probably at about 105 on a saw like this, um, I would have to drop it like almost a quarter of an inch, and I can't. Then the base would get too skinny and it'd break off. So it is. There it is. The exhaust roof is just shy of 96. So it's a very high exhaust roof. The intake floor was at uh, 70, which again, that is after I lowered it. So... From the factory, it was probably about 66, which is terrible. I lowered it down to 78, 79 on the, on the floor, 
And then the transfers, it had 27 degrees of blowdown. So what I did right there is I just um, added what is kind of sort of my way of putting a um, uh, initial transfer and then the rest of it gets opened up. So that right there is at about um, 112. So we're looking at is the initial blowdown is really soon. It's really short. So we got about 112 degrees, which is, you know, roughly uh, 14, no, 16 degrees of blowdown, roughly 16 degrees there. And then over here, it's all the way up to that 27. So my theory is, is that a little bit gets pushed in really fast uh, before your your main transfer comes on back here. And uh, so that'll still get keep me some good velocity going in there at first to push the exhaust out. And uh, we'll see how she runs, you know. That's the only thing we can do is try. But as it is, um, you guys know that I've messed with the Weimars. That's, I got, I've got... This is, I'm on my second one now, uh, much higher quality than this Kuchir. Much higher quality than this Kuchir. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, the little things like I couldn't get the flywheel off and I broke a chunk out. And that sucks. It really does. But I'm going to send it, you know, uh, this thing. Not the highest hopes for it. <laughs> we'll see how it runs. Okay, so as you can see, I opened the exhaust completely up. Oh, we've got these two holes right out here at the front. And it passes right through. See them? So, that's going to be a good muffler mod. Should flow nice and freely and have a mean grunt to it. Okay, now that you've seen that... Uh, I did the best I could with the porting. Let's see how it compares to what the Weimar is. I've only started it up and shut it down two or three times. I haven't done a single cut in it. I did tune it uh, to about 13,000 RPMs. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, she runs all right, uh, but it feels about like what the Weimars is stock. So I ported it up and I um, uh, did a muffler mod on it. I mean, these things are pretty open. I just cut out the, the inside baffle on the muffler. But this is, this is the quality that I would uh, think that most people are experiencing whenever they're buying these and they're going, man, these things are really pretty crappy. This Couchier is just nowhere near as nice as the Weimars. Um, and I am not sponsored by Weimars. They haven't sent me a single chainsaw or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, it's supposed to be 62 cc's. I did the math on it. I think it was uh, around 54 cc's. Um, it's, it's really shite in quality. But they just need to get one winner out of it, hopefully. And uh, hopefully that war will be over. War sucks. I don't care whose side you're on. Um, it's no good. Known a lot of people that have had to deal with that. And uh, it's never enjoyable for either side. So there'll be another video of this and everything that I do for, on, to it for the, uh, the guys over in Ukraine. Uh, but this one right here is just a comparison. What I could do ported. I don't have footage of it from the beginning because I really fully assumed that this was going to be just like the Weimars and I immediately broke it apart. And uh, it's, it's not. It's just not as good a quality as the Weimars is. It's just not there. But, I mean, it, it's probably going to be fine. I mean, truth be told, I mean, it ain't that bad, but I did port it. That exhaust roof, at, that exhaust roof is way too high. It's only at like not even 96 now after I dropped it down. So that means in stock form, this, this exhaust roof was probably up around 92, which is absurd. It, that's, that's ridiculously high. But, uh, you know, there you have it. Maybe this video was entertaining to some people, but I would say whenever it comes to buying these Zanoa knockoffs, steer clear of Coochier. <laughs> coochie, coochie.